Flyer City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby and Rose over there playing with their toys in the kitchen for a multivitamin review because you've been asking for this video and actually I put a call out to action of what kind of videos you wanna see in the near future. I got a bunch of health related requests so we're gonna to get to all those. But multivitamins for men, for women and for kids was a very popular request. So I went to a bunch of different stores and ordered some on Amazon. This was quite the expensive haul because this stuff is not cheap, um, but it really comes down to very, very basic uh, principles that separate the good from the bad. And really there's some really good ones out there, and yeah, the great ones are a little more expensive and maybe sometimes twice as expensive, but we're talking about a multivitamin here. Is it really worth it to pay twice the price? I think so, and I'll show you why and how to identify the good ones from the bad for everyone out there. Before we get rocking and rolling, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, sorry, like, subscribe, share. All those great things are lovely, but the bell icon right below the video is the most important thing. Enable all notifications, because every week we have two to three videos going live and three, yes, three live stream recipes uh, videos that we make a recipe from start to finish. It's a lot of fun. Let's start with the adults first, and then we'll get to the kids later on, which can be a little scary, actually. You wanna be very careful, especially with kids, what you put in their body. We think of a multivitamin, a general one here. And this is probably one of the more well-known brands out here. This is Centrum Silver, and this is for the adults over 50. I just grabbed this from Target. It doesn't matter which Centrum, this is one of your basic ones. And this is one I probably want you to avoid in my opinion, why? Well, first, whenever you're looking at a multivitamin, I would look at the spectrum of vitamins and nutrients within the multivitamin. That's what you're gonna see all of them have in common. But something like Centrum, you'll see, does not really compare that much to the other ones that have a more diverse uh, vitamin profile. So this is not bad per se. I can promise you the vitamins, the synthetic vitamins they're using are not gonna be super high quality, but it's a decent diverse range here. But where we get in trouble is the other ingredients here. So normally you won't see a list this long, and there's a couple things that really worry me. So let's go through them. Okay, first offender is going to be maltodextrin. That's a preservative normally made from corn, so GMO corn, but it specifically says here non-GMO verified. So okay, that's great, but still you don't want to see maltodextrin. The good ones, the good multivitamins are not going to have that. Then we see modified cornstarch. That's going to be kind of like a stabilizer or filler. Ideally, you don't want to see it from corn. This is interesting. I didn't catch this initially, but I just saw it now. BHT is a preservative. They used to put it in a lot of cereals, but they stopped because it's kind of controversial. The good ones will use uh, tocopherols, which is an extract from vitamin E. So that's actually not good. But then we keep going here. And this to me is where the issues start to arise. There's food coloring, artificial food coloring here in the form of red number 40, yellow lake number six. And this is not adding nutrients. This is just to make it look more pleasant. You don't want to see artificial food coloring. So this is one that really, I mean, I think this cost me 20 bucks. Is it worth the money? I don't think so. So what do you do? Well, first of all, multivitamins are made for men and women. I highly recommend you and all the links I'm going to put down below are broken down by men and women, some in certain age categories. Go for the men or women. And if you want the best men's one out there for my money, this, and this brand is fantastic. This is Garden of Life Vitamin Code for Men. So how do we see the difference between this one and the previous one? Well, look at this. The nutritional profile of the vitamin breakdown is much more diverse. In the first category here is all the vitamins. So that's pretty good. They have a nice kind of uh, diverse, I'd say, vitamin profile. But then we come down here and we say, hey, hold on a second. They're putting raw organic fruit and vegetable blend. And these are more tailored for men but look, everything is organic. Why is that important? Because a lot of these fruits and vegetables are on the dirty dozen, so organic is a must, and the real deal fruit and vegetables. Then they don't stop there. We're like raw probiotics, yes, gut health, I'm all about that, and then a little uh, immunity and uh, antioxidant boost, absolutely. Then we look at the other ingredients. Do you see five paragraphs of that? No, you just see uh, what's gonna be the cellulose or like the capsule, and a little bit of gum, I'm totally fine with that. So this is what you wanna see. Now this is about twice the price, and I, I, by the way, I should say, I don't really take multivitamins, but I'm gonna start now because I bought all these and uh, I wanna at least use this and see 
This is what you want. Very, very important. I think it's higher uh, quality synthetic vitamins, but when you start adding in all those raw organic fruits, vegetables, the immune support, and the uh, probiotic, game changer. This is a super high quality one. Uh, the men's one I would get for men. The women one they make is fantastic too. Remember, all links down below. I have the best prices I found on Amazon. This is the best one for women. This is such a great brand here. Pure Synergy. This is specifically made for women. This is really, really high quality. They have one for men too. I'm going to say this brand and the Garden of Life Vitamin Code are the best. So look at this. The Vitamin Profile very, very diverse. I really like to see that, but this is where things get super interesting to me. Look at all of these herbs, extracts, fruits, vegetables. This is where it's at. This is specifically tailored for women and it's going to be different than the men's version of this. That's why I recommend going with the men's and the women depending on what you want. And then here's the coolest thing. Look at the other ingredients on the bottom. We're literally looking at certified organic tablet coating. And then don't be worried. It says organic fermented soy. It's organic. It's non-GMO. It's fermented, which is actually good for you, like miso paste. I'm guessing they're using that as kind of like a preservative or like an anti-caking agent. But wow, this is what you want to see. So those are some of the best ones, right? A little more pricey. Yes. Now I have noticed I get a lot of email requests. And by the way, thank you for emailing me and DMing and leaving comments down below with requests. This is how I come up with my videos. Um, and I don't do these videos just because I want to you know, tell you about something. I do them because I get great requests. And one of the requests I noticed is a lot of adults want chewable vitamins. And it gets kind of tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Hey, check this out, Art. This is a very typical one a day brand here, gummy. When you get to gummies, we're usually going to talk about inferior vitamin profile and sugar. So check this out. Compare the vitamin profile up here compared to what we just looked. It's way inferior. We're talking about much less vitamins in there, much less diverse. But what I really want you to pay attention to is this other ingredient list here. That's a lot. First ingredient, glucose syrup, sugar. Second ingredient, sugar. So we got sugar on sugar there. Then we keep going here. And we see it's not even natural flavors in this one. It's artificial flavors. And we keep reading here, just like the Centrum, blue number one for coloring, mm -hmm. yellow number six, even more, red number 40. But look what they're covering the uh, chewables in, vegetable oil. That's actually palm oil. But because of all this sugar here, scroll up here, Art, there's three grams of added sugar in a serving. A serving is two gummies. So that's just under, you guys, one teaspoon of added sugar. Now, I understand why they need the sweetness. This is a gummy. So if you actually took the capsule of this and took it apart, it tastes nasty. It's a bunch of vitamins and nutrients, stuff you don't want to actually taste. It's not pleasant. Well, they have to coat it, but you could do a better job. So I wouldn't get that. I didn't buy it because it started getting a little expensive. Garden of Life, and I'll put the screenshot up right now, makes organic, my kind, men's multivitamin. Exactly, Rose, that's not for you. I'm gonna get to the kids in a second. And women's multivitamin. Nutritional profile, way, way superior to the one a day. And all of the sweetness comes from fruit. It's all organic fruits. The only ingredients I don't love there, if we read, see, you gotta read the other ingredients and the actual ingredient list. There's sunflower oil that covers the tablets so they don't stick together. It's not expelled or pressed. It's not ideal, but it's a minuscule amount. And they're using organic rice meal. That's to make like an anti-caking agent. I don't mind that. And then unfortunately, they use a little bit of organic cranberry flavor, not natural, uh, not real flavor, natural flavor. We've talked about natural flavors many times. They're not ideal, but in this situation, there's so many other good ingredients. There's zero other ingredients there. It's all flavored with fruits and vegetables. And the sugars are four added grams of sugar, which is a teaspoon. You're like, well, that's more. This is three grams. It all comes from the fruit and the fruit juice, which I'm totally fine with. So the garden of life, uh, organic, men's and women chewable is where it's at. That's what you want to get if you can't chew. Uh, if, you, if you can't take the capsule, the chewables is where it's at. Now, let's move on to kids. Now, this is probably the most popular brand of kids multivitamin. These are almost always going to come in chewies because what kind of kid wants to uh, suck down a tablet? Smarty Pants. 
I think people know this one the best. I think they spend the most marketing dollars. And for my money, I would not get this. Why? Okay, well, let's look at the vitamin markup here. Pretty good, actually. They do a good job. And what's the difference between a kid's multivitamin and an adult? Well, number one, it's gonna have lower doses of the essential vitamins. It's also gonna have a different markup because it's more for growing kids. But let's go down to the other ingredients down here. This is really where the devil's in the detail here. So we have organic cane sugar. I don't care that it's organic, it's still cane sugar, which is, I call the devil. Organic tapioca syrup, another sweetener. So sweetener, unsweetener. Everything else looks good except for natural flavors. The other one had that too. I understand why they do that, but when you add sugar on top of that, it starts to make it uh, bad news for me. So how much sugar? Let's go up to here. There is, whoa, five grams. You see that? Five grams of added sugar for a four gummy serving. Five grams of added sugar is over a teaspoon. So this is not something I'd wanna give my kid. When you're having a teaspoon of, of sugar plus, with the vitamins, you're kind of negating the fact of the vitamins in the first place. So what do you do? Well, here's what you want to do. If your kids can take tap, uh, tablets or capsules, see, these are not chewies. This is mega food and they actually make a great, uh, Rose, they also make a great uh, adult version too. Look at this. Here's the vitamin profile. It's actually a little more diverse than Smarty Pants. And then we look at other ingredients here. Nothing. Those are just part of the uh, capsule and a little bit of uh, anti-caking agents. That's what you want to see. But I understand the kids won't be able, some of them, to take pills. If that's the case, well, what do you think? Do you get the organic one here or do you get Flintstones? This is, we see the commercial. <laughs> yeah, we see the commercial with Fred and Dino and you want to get that. You really, you, you guys, first of all, nutritional profile, very, very weak there. But we look at the other ingredients here. Hey, let's see. Glucose, syrup, and sugar. Once again, the one-two punch of sugar. And then once again, we have natural flavors, which is pretty common, unfortunately. Vegetable oil in the form of palm. They're not using the sunflower oil. If you saw earlier, they're using cruddy palm oil. And then how much sugar here for a serving? Check it right out here. Three grams of added sugar, so a little less than Smarty Pants, but not something you want. Once again, if you want best in class for your kids, and I really think it's important, Garden of Life multi-gummy for kids, this is where it's at because even though it has, how many grams of sugar here? Four, where does it come from? All from the organic fruit juice, which is a huge difference between the uh, sugar and the tapioca syrup. But look at this, this is a really nice vitamin markup here. And just like the adults one, boom goes the dynamite. Look at that, we're talking about a wide, diverse array of vegetables, fruits, superfoods. The only thing I don't like, once again, is just organic peach flavor, natural flavor, but they're unavoidable. A little bit of sunflower oil is the coating. I'd rather have that than palm oil, but oh, wow, look at that. That's where it's at. So this is more expensive, but once again, it's organic. Uh, we're talking about fruits and vegetables, Dirty Dozen. If I'm not going to eat Dirty Dozen, please don't give them to your kids. Uh, so very, very important. Uh, that's the lay of the land. Now, there are other ones uh, that I pulled up on here on Amazon. I didn't want to order everything because they got really expensive, but Thorn Research makes a really good multivitamin for adults. Uh, Ancient Nutrition makes a great multivitamin for men and women. And then there is another chewable kids uh, vitamin by Havasu on Amazon. It's very highly rated, but all you have to do, you guys, go into the other ingredients. The first two other ingredients are glucose syrup and sugar, sugar on sugar, whereas these guys use natural fruit juice. So what does it come down to? It comes down to using the diverse, highest quality vitamin profile they can, which is something like these guys do, which is something like this does for the kitties. It's not using sugar, it's using natural fruit juice, and it's looking at those other ingredients because the other ingredients on the ones that are the typical standard fare are gonna be preservatives, artificial flavors, red number 40, yellow number five, and garbage like that. So once you learn to look for that, super duper easy. Uh, I can buy links to all the good stuff down below. If you can afford it, I really think it's important to put this stuff in your body, especially for the little kitties. Uh, please let me know if you wanna see maybe a probiotic review, um, a nutrient deficient review, 
Once again, all these videos are for you guys, so please leave comments down below. And the only way our community keeps soaring like an eagle is by you liking, subscribing, and sharing the love. Art and I have two more videos below us right now. But we will see you very soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.